Hi everybody, Anthony here from Crazy Tech Lab and today marks the first of two NDAs for Intel's ninth generation processors and Z390 chipset and as you can see I've got a whole load of footage here from a recent event that I went to with ASUS and uh, there's a whole bunch of new motherboards, um, ATX, Micro ATX and Mini ITX that we can look forward to um, that are being released very very soon and of course they are compatible with Intel's ninth generation processors which we expect to have eight cores and uh, some of those will be uh, offer solder instead of tim as well uh, between the heat spreader and cpu core so very very exciting stuff and uh, what i'll be doing today is just showing you um, a whole bunch of footage that i got from the event not looking at too many details but there are a couple of things i'll uh, talk about as we move on through the videos So first up then is everybody's favorite, the ROG Strix Z370, Z390, should I say, I gaming. And uh, this is the brand new Mini ITX motherboard. Uh, not too much has changed, uh, but it's great to see that we'll be able to have an eight core CPU on a mainstream Intel motherboard. And uh, what we're looking at here is the brand new ROG Strix Gene, uh, so that's the Maximus 11 Gene. And uh, quite a few th new things with this board. You get the Dim.2 uh, uh, slot, for the um, and card for two M.2 ports, so there's four M.2 ports in total. You only get one PCI Express slot uh, and two memory slots because there, the, there is new support for high density memory modules. So you'll be able to get exactly the same capacity out of two modules as you would on a much larger motherboard. And of course, the uh, the mainstay of uh, of most motherboard manufacturers' ranges are the ATX motherboards. So here you can see the ROG Strix Z390H gaming and uh, the Z390F gaming, and finally the Z370E gaming as well. So uh, just a very short clip, clip from the video, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more footage and reviews.